Adrian Adrian Pucharnau from the International Watch Association. Okay. And uh, you're based in The Hague? Yeah, I'm based in The Hague in the Netherlands. Yeah. Okay, and you're our very first interview. Welcome to the World Water Cube. Yay! Thank Yay. you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you were just telling me about the program that you're working for. Maybe you can just tell me in a few words what it is. Well, we, we have this program, it's the Young Water Professionals Program, which is part of, of one of the programs of the International Water Association, which is a program that aims to attract and, and retain young professionals and students to work for the water sector. And we were just today here at Stockholm organizing a, a workshop. We just finished it today. It was a fantastic workshop. But we had uh, four subjects that were discussed in there. We had four senior professionals discussing uh, climate change, uh, cities of the future, water operators, partnerships, and, and water and corruption. So we, we were engaging the young water professionals in those, these discussions. So, so what is your personal motivation for working with, with young people? I mean, besides the motivation that we talked about just earlier, which, which is to engage them in this uh, sector, which is very important, but maybe not as lucrative as banking, you know, but um, there's a lot of smart people out there, a lot of smart young kids, so I'm sure they're out there. But what's your personal motivation? Well, I think it's fun working with, with young people, and especially young water professionals. I, myself, am a, a chemical engineer by... I study, so I study chemical engineering, and I know what, what they're talking about. So I feel like, like it's interesting to, to show them that they, they can do more things than, than what they think. You, you, we need lawyers as well in the water sector. We need economists. We, we don't just need uh, civil engineers, chemical engineers, or chemists. We, you can need biologists, and you need other disciplines that people don't think as a first option. Oh, I should work in the water sector. So it's to show those people that are studying that they can come to work for the water sector and have a living out of it and even help the world, which is quite a nice thing to do. I had one, one question I had is, what is, what is the water sector? I mean, you talk about the water sector, um, but I'm, there's a lot of people that won't understand what, what that is. Well, uh, this is Mark Charmer, yeah. by the way. <laughs> the water sector is everything to do with water supply and water and sanitation. So if you think of the water cycle from the moment that water is collected, is treated and provided to the customers to, to the end of it, which water is treated again and discharged into a river. But also, if you think in a broader sense, you, you have rivers going through different countries. So you have the trans, transboundary waters and it's part also of the water system. So it's everything to do with the water cycle. And we should stop thinking about drinking water and, and wastewater. Everything is a cycle and everything is part of it. Are you... Are you, are you particularly inspired by kind of the input you get from the young people you meet? Or, I, yeah? I actually do. There's sometimes you, you, when you go to a conference and you see them, their research and what they do, it's quite encouraging and it's a motivation for me to, to get more conferences happening and more workshops doing because you do something great for them and they get to know, you know people. One of the difficult things for young water professionals is get to know all the young water professionals or all the people networking is, is one of the biggest challenges that they do have. They, they feel shy to, to go to speak to somebody. So what we do in those conferences and, and events, we provide a platform where they can network and get to know other people and create long-lasting relationships that will go throughout their career. And when you see the, the effects that you're doing by organizing these events, it's just fantastic. I think I do really feel motivated to see them interact. Oh, thanks. Yeah. It's often it's people talk very generically in a sector like this, and we need more people in the sector. But I'd be really interested to understand more about sort of really concrete examples of people you know, doing where they've come from and what they've got into. Well, le last year uh, we at IW we launched what we call the World of Opportunities. It's a careers booklet that we we have uh, different articles and challenges that the water sector have, but also we have articles and different disciplines that people can work in and, and also pro, uh, profile, profiles from people working in the water sector that they show the career discipline and we send that to, to all the universities that are members of IWA and all the universities to, to be at the career center so people when they're thinking of when they're finishing the studies and they think oh I should have a, a career, start to think about what I'm going to do afterwards they, they see this book and they say oh that's interesting idea and that's something that could be helpful for me to do as well. Can you give one example? Of a person that, that has done that. Uh, we send it to, for example, I've been here with, 
with the young water professionals today and some of them they were just like finishing the studies and they don't really know much what they're going to be doing and this booklet I've just given it to two or three people and they were quite oh that's a very useful tool for me to, to have to to know what part of the water sector I want to get involved into. Hmm. Okay. So it's yeah, yeah. So it, it, it's a it's a tool for narrowing down your interests yeah. within this thing that we talk about water, yeah. which is actually yeah. extremely broad. And also for those, I think for those uh, areas where you don't think that you could have us a future in the water, like if you're a lawyer, they would never think maybe what could be a lawyer within the water sector. If you're an economist, you, they wouldn't think of the water sector. But if you have an article written by somebody working in the water sector that that is working as a lawyer or is working as an economist, and you think, oh. There's something into it that I haven't, haven't thought of. I could maybe follow it up and see if there's something I'm interested in. So it's, it's like to, to provide the visibility that the water sector needs.